President Obama vowed an international crackdown to halt piracy off the coast of Somalia Monday, soon after the freeing of U.S. cargo ship Captain Richard Phillips, who had been held hostage by Somali pirates since last Wednesday. Three Somali pirates were killed in the U.S. operation. While some military analysts are considering attacks on pirate bases inside Somalia, in addition to expanding U.S. Navy gunships along the Somali coastline, others are strongly opposed to a land invasion. U.S. Congress member Donald Payne of New Jersey made a brief visit to the Somali capital of Mogadishu Monday and said piracy was, quote, a symptom of the decades of instability. His plane was targeted by mortar fire as he was leaving Somalia, soon after a pirate vowed revenge against the United States for killing his men. Former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations John Bolton told Fox News over the weekend that the U.S. should assemble a, quote, coalition of the willing to invade Somalia. Meanwhile, local fishing and business communities along the Somali coast are suffering as a result of the increased American and international naval presence in their waters. American Marine Forces always arrest us as we continue fishing. We meet their warships and at times they send helicopters to take photos of us as they suspect we are pirates and we are not. People are worried about the troops as it is becoming more and more difficult to do business. There's a lot of warships patrolling the sea and merchant ships are getting more and more checked thinking they are operated by pirates. While the pirate story has dominated the corporate media, there's been little or no discussion of the root causes driving piracy. Mohamed Abshir Waldo is a consultant and analyst in Kenya. He is Kenyan of Somali origin. In January, he wrote a paper called The Two Piracies in Somalia, Why the World Ignores the Other. He joins us on the phone right now from Mombasa. Welcome to Democracy Now! Uh, hello. Thank you. Good to have you with us. Can you talk about um, what you think the two piracies are? Uh, well, the two piracies are uh, the original one, uh, which was uh, firing uh, fishing piracy by foreign trawlers and vessels, um, who at the same time uh, were dumping um, industrial waste, uh, toxic waste, and um, it also has been reported uh, nuclear waste. Um, most of the time we feel uh, it's the same um, fishing vessels, foreign fishing vessels, that are doing both. That was uh, the... Uh, piracy that started all this problem. And the other piracy is the um, uh, shipping piracy. Um, when um, the marine resources um, of Somalia uh, was pillaged, uh, when the waters were poisoned, when the fish was stolen, and in a poverty situation uh, in the whole country, um, the fishermen felt that they had no other uh, possibilities or other recourse but to fight um, with, um, you know, the, the, the properties and the shipping of the same countries that have been doing and carrying on the uh, fishing piracy and toxic dumping. Mm. Can you explain what IUUs are? IUUs uh, um, um, uh, I don't uh, remember now, but it's um, unto, uninterrupted and unreported um, uh, fishing, um, unlicensed, unreported, and controlled practically fishing. In your um, article, in your article, you that. say, in your article, you say it stands for illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing fleets from Correct. Europe and Arabia and the Far East. Correct. Correct. And this has been known uh, to the, both the countries uh, in the West 
that had uh, these um, fishing fleets, uh, which included Spain, Italy, Greece, and eventually UK, and others uh, who joined later, um, as well as Russian. And, of course, there were many more uh, from the East. Um, and, and this problem has been going on since 1991, and the fishing communities and fishermen reported and complained and appealed to the international community through the United Nations, through the European Union, uh, with no, uh, actually, um, response in any form at all. They were totally ignored. Mohammed Abshir Waldo, explain how what you call fishing piracy began. Uh, fishing piracy means uh, fishing without license, fishing by force, even though the community complains, even though whatever authorities are there complain, even though they ask you these uh, foreign fishing uh, fleets and trawlers and vessels um, that have no license, that have no permit whatsoever. When they tell them to stop fishing and get out of the area, they refuse and instead, in fact, to fight. They fought with the fishermen and coastal communities, uh, pouring boiling water on them and uh, even shooting at them, uh, running over their canoes and fishing boats. Uh, these were the problems that had been going on for so long until the community uh, organized themselves and um, empowered, actually, what they call the National Volunteer Coast Guards, uh, what you would call and what others call today as um, pirates. Um, are you, so you're saying illegal fishing is happening off the coast of Somalia. What countries are engaged in it? Uh, the countries engaged uh, included practically all of southern Europe, France, uh, Spain, uh, Greece, uh, UK. Nowadays, I hear even uh, Norway. There were not many Scandinavians before. But Norwegian fishing now is uh, involved in this, um, you know, very uh, profitable uh, uh, fishing business. Um, so uh, there are others, of course. There are Russian, there are Taiwanese, there are Philippines, there are uh, Koreans, there are Chinese. Uh, you know, it's uh, free for all uh, coast. And uh, to make things worse, we learn that now that the navies and the warships are there, every country is protecting their own illegal fishing viruses, uh, vessels. They have come back. Uh, they ran away from the, um, the Somali uh, volunteer guards, coast guards, but now they are back, and they are being protected by their navies. And, in fact, they are coming close to the territorial waters to harass, again, the fishermen who no longer have opportunity or possibility to fish uh, on the coast because of the uh, fear of being um, called uh, pirates and apprehended by the Navy, who are at the same time protecting the other side. So the issue is really um, a, a matter of tremendous injustice, international community uh, only attending and talking and uh, coming to the rescue of, the, um, of their interests, and not at all considering or looking from the Somali side. This does not mean I am condoning or anyone's condoning uh, piracy or uh, endangering the life of innocent sailors and crews or damaging the property of others. But uh, these people, these fishermen turned pirates, had no alternative but to protect themselves, to protect their turf, to, um, you know, an act of desperation, you might call it. 